Hello everyone and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today I'm going to help you to get sexy action bars in World of Warcraft. As you can see in my screen right now, I have my action bar stacked here and a few over there and you can do even more than that. But um, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get this. So first of all, you have to go to the website called download.curseforge.com to download the program which is going to help you installing add-ons and keep them updated all the time so you won't get any problems with outdated add-ons so download the curseforge.com and you will be able to download the program here to windows or mac both of them it's up to you then once you have downloaded the program you will be seeing here so you've got the Curious Forge program where you can like go to the main page where you can pick your games or World of Warcraft. Then you can update your add-ons, but you can also say get more add-ons and basically go to the popular list and then search for the add-ons you want. For example, Deadly Boss Mods is really good for like uh, boss fights to tell you what to do. And then of course you need, uh, if you scroll a bit down, you can feel find Bartender. So that's the add-on we're going to use for this video. But you can always open up this program and say update all. Probably not a good idea and do it right now because I'm actually in the game. <laughs> but yeah, probably do this before you go into the game. And then you can set in the settings that once you click on the X in the top right corner, it actually closes the program totally. Keep in mind, this is in installing CurseForge and something called, uh, I think it's like called Wolf or Wolf. But still, you can just close the app and it's going to be totally closed for your PC. So that's how to get add-ons into your game. Very quick, very easy. But once you have them, in the game, you will be seeing once you log in, you will see here, you go to the add-on list in the left corner. You can't see because of my webcam, but down there in the left corner, add-ons. And then you can double check that your add-ons is actually in here. And as you, in this case, you can see bartenders up there and it's check mark that we have it on. Great. So log into your character. First time you're logging into your character, like really first time you log into a character, it is going to look like this. So I'm just going to go... Don't, don't look at the screen right now. Good. It's going to look like this. It's actually quite a mess. Like you, you're like, oh my God, what, what is going on? What I recommend is you can see up in the top right corner right now, you have like this little, like it looks like a beer. So right click on it and it says bartender. Right click on it, go to the page called profiles and then change the profile to the one called default because then it's not going to look like this. But once you do it, in my, in my case, I would need to create a new one. I'm going to call it default two, Because then on all your character, when you log in, you just simply take the drop down here and select the default profile that you have made your settings on. And then you can have the settings on all your characters, which is really cool. So, but let's go through it. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to re remove this ugly Blizzard layout. So you can see there's one here called Blizzard Art Bar. Go on that one and kill it. Remove it. We don't want that. Then I would recommend you to go into back bar. And uh, well, actually, we're going to go to top left corner and say lock. So we basically can unlock the whole thing. So now you can like move everything around. So we're going to move. Uh, we're going to move the micro menu down here in the left cor right corner because, you know, that's fine. We're going to put the back bar at top of it. And there we go. And then we have everything else. As you can see, it's it's like it's uh, it's like. Uh, it's like sticking to stuff so it's very easy to play as you can see it's like sticking so it's really really easy to set up so for example what i do normally is i take my bar one and put it in you can see it's like sticking to the middle of the screen very cool i'm always putting it like down there and then i'm taking my bar six and put it just above there we go and bar five but as you can see and then i put my pet bar there my extra action bar here and let's start with that. So I'm going to say lock again. And here you can see so it's down there. Which for some people probably think, nice. I almost can't see my spell. That's really good. And I'm, I'm not more like, that's too small. So what I do is I unlock again. Then I go to my bar one. And in here you can see scale. So you can see bar one, scale. I'm going to say 1.3, which looks really good. But now you can see it's very big and have like a lot of space between them. We don't want that. So you have one here called padding. Put that on zero. There you go. Then it's totally squished together and looks awesome. If you don't like to have this like grid around your spells, you can also say zoom. And it's basically just the spell icons, which I have seen some people, they enjoy just having the spell icons. But you can also put back the grid spell items. You, you can see like the difference, which can be cool. So again, I'm going to remove everything here. Put my bar one down here. You know, make it stick in the middle. 
And yeah. Then I'm going to take my bar 6 and go in again to scale 1.3 and put padding to 0. There we go. Put it down here. Uh, there we go. I don't want any of the green to overlap. You can like see if it overlaps. Then we have bar 5, which also going to get 1.3, 0 in padding. And then put it down again. Boom. Then I always take, just take like my pet bar, put it there. Extra action bar there. And then we have bar 4 and bar 3, which you normally have like in the right side. I'm going I'm also going to put them up in 1.3 and with zero padding. Well, actually, they don't need to be big. You know, they just have to be out there on the right side, not really being useful. So I'm just going to remove padding on those and then put it like over here. There we go. So now we can say um, uh, we can say lock and there you go. So that, that looks pretty decent and we only we did this in like six minutes stole the add-ons and basically set it up so now you can see i have this xp bar here which is really annoying what i like to do is i like to put it down here in the left corner so it's like down here below my chat which i really enjoy having so what i'm going to do is i have to put it make it smaller so we have one here on the list called um uh, status tracking bar yeah that's the one so we're going to put it down on one no, probably 0 0.8. I'll put it down and we can see, okay, it can actually be a bit bigger. So we're going to try 0, 0 0.85 to big, 84. Perfect. That's actually perfect. So you can see now, if I say lock, it's filling the whole thing. And if we just remove my webcam a bit, you can see, so we have the chat here. We could unlock the chat by right clicking on general, unlock the chat, you know, make it bigger. Oh my God, that's so good. There we go. And now the chat fills the whole thing down here, which looks amazing in my opinion. I, I like that. So I've got to put me up down there. There we go. So that's like how you can do stuff, which like, you know, that's how you can do like some of the stuff. If you would like something more advanced, I'm just saying, this is like the default one I would play with. If you want something more advanced where you actually want to see your cooldowns around, I mean, you can get like a lot of cool like add-ons, which is going to show you cooldowns around. But if you don't really want to like get more add-ons, you could also use Bartender for it. So for example, what we can do is we're going to right click on Bartender again. We're going to find one and unlock. We're going to find one of those, um, or just a quick note, this one here, bottom lock, it makes sure that you cannot move add uh, like, if, like um, if you uncheck it, then you can move spells around. But if you check it, you need to hold shift down for actually moving a spell. This really helps so you don't move spells while you're in combat. Trust me, you're going to like it. So, uh, yeah. So, so you can see if I uh, if I lock, unlock them, we can see I have bar 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I don't have bar 2. So that means I could actually enable bar 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 0 on padding. And I'm going to put the scale up on 1.5. And what I'm going to do, you can see here row, there's one called rows. You can like pick how how many rows it's supposed to be. Like is it one like one bar, like two bars, three bars, or we can even like make it like this, which is what I want. And then we can reduce how many buttons we have on it. We can like put um, four, how many cooldowns do I have? I got two cooldowns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down on two. I might even increase it. The... There we go. So now when I play the game, oops, we have a big old bar there. So now when I play the game, I could have it like here next to me and then say luck. And what I can do is I go into my macros and get my uh, two cooldowns. There we go. There we go. Which means, so, so now they're there and we can actually, I think we can like do on those. We can uh, uh, click through. Yeah, there we go. When they are click through, you cannot click on them. See, it doesn't work. They are simply there to just show so you, so you don't mess up by clicking there. Now they are basically on my screen to just help me showing when my cooldowns are ready. So once I use my cooldown, you can see now I, can, I don't have to look down to see once it's ready again. I just simply have to look next to my character to see when my cooldown is ready. And also if I use my burst one, the same. 
Also now I can just see to the left side of my character when my spells are ready. And I know you can probably use weak aura and a lot of other cool add-ons for doing this, but still, if you don't really wanna like, you know, have like 100 add-ons, this is very useful. And again, you can find another bar, which we are not using like bar seven and do even more like you can do even more stuff like that. Uh, but it, it's very limited to only like cooldowns and having additional spells around the screen if you want. Like having, you, you could, for example, uh, let me show you something cool. You could, for example, have, um, let's do here, we, one, two, three, four, five, six spells in our rotation. So we're gonna change it down to six spells. We're gonna put it up to 1.5. Gonna stick it in the middle here. There we go. And what we're gonna do is, wait, did I put it on zero padding? No, I did. Padding zero, then I just have to replace it again. There we go, stick to the middle. Boom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put down my normal rotation. So we have like that one, that one, whirlwind, charge, rampage, uh, execute. This means now when I use my standard rotation, I can actually very easy on my screen see once my new abilities are ready because you could also look all the way down here but if you don't want to but you just want to look here and again we can do so with a uh, click through so we can actually like click through it and i think you can even like go to visibility and fade it out so you can like make it so you don't see it you can also see so it's hide um like only show uh hide in combat no we don't want that one Hide when processing, hide, hide on vehicle, hide, uh, hide out of combat. So now it's only showing once you are in combat, so you don't look at this ugly thing all the time. So just when you're in combat, then you can put it on, for example. Cool. So now, uh, if I used my spells, you could see they would be used up there. I, I can click through them, so they're not going to interfere with my game at all. But they are just there now to tell me once I can actually use my spells. I actually like this. Maybe I should play with this. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool i like it i actually like it a lot but yeah so this is a quick guide on how to use bartender and you know put it out to the limit and again you know there's tons of things you can do in here you know that's pretty much the limit i guess um also you have this blizzard art bar if you enable it it has like different designs um so for example if we go to a new profile we're gonna create a default profile called default free if you go to the blizzard art bar you can see here that you can actually so right now it's griffin griffin but you can also change it to it so it's a lion if you wanted to have like a lion instead you can also change it so it's like none so it's just like a bar um i even think you can like yeah you can even change it so it's just like one action bar are you actually move able to move that oh yeah there we go so you can change it. I could actually, okay, that, uh, that would actually be interesting. Let's go back to my profile uh, two. And then, yeah. And then we enable um, Blizzard Art Bar. And we're gonna say we want one action bar. And then in, oh shit. And then put it up in 1.3. And then unlock. Uh, it's because it has padding. So it, it seems like this one is only going to work if you actually also have padding on your bars. Because you can see before it actually works. Nah, it's not going to work. You, you need to have that padding where it has spaces between the, the spells, which I don't like. So we're going we're gonna to skip that. But you know, it, it was a good ID. It was a great ID. Yeah. Great. Well, um, thanks for watching my video. And if you have any questions regarding add-ons, anything like that, ask in the comments. But again, this was how to install it through CurseForge, how to find the add-ons through CurseForge, and then boom, you have them in the game and nothing else. And this is how you set it up the add-ons. So thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Have a great day where you are in the world. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more World of Warcraft content. I really would appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Bye.